Hey guys, I'm doing another gear review video. I finally found a product that I either love or hate enough to uh, devote time to making a video about. <laughs> um, if you're new here, my name is James. I'm trying to live my dream of becoming an adventurer. Um, I've got a lot of things on the go this summer. Um, they'll be sailing, hiking, adventuring, exploring, all that stuff. If you want to come along for the journey, so make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, ring the bell so you get notifications. If you want to help support me uh, towards becoming full-time at this instead of having to work a full-time job as well, um, I did launch channel membership as well as I do have a merch store. The link tree is in my bio. Not my bio, in the description down below. Come on, James. I'm still getting used to this having more than one social media thing, and it's kind of a lot to manage sometimes. <sighs> Anyways, that's my problem, not yours. Um, today, ow, ow. Okay, uh, <laughs> this is like my fourth take, and I don't want to start over, so we're gonna just do this. Um, reviewing Comperdel TI-7 EXP trekking poles. They collapsed down. I uh, had them for about a year. Bought them at Mech. Uh, after I broke my last pair, which I bought after I broke the pair before that, I'm on like this, like number four. Because, uh, ultimately, I am over 400 pounds. Uh, at the moment, I'm 417 pounds, which means I have officially lost 70 pounds, which is awesome because I used to be 487. Here nor there, these pulls are actually pretty awesome. Um, not gonna lie, I, I use them a lot, I rely on them heavily. Um, this is what it looks like all extended. <laughs> um, I rely on them heavily to actually increase the range that I can hike before my joints start to kind of give out on me. Um, without the poles, I can only hike about four to five kilometers. With the poles, I can do, do 10 to 15, depending on the day. Uh, hoping to expand that further as my weight continues to come down. That being said, um... I did get on the scale with these and push down. I couldn't film it really well, so I gave up on that. But <laughs> um, when I do get, like, when I do push down with these things, especially as I'm stepping down off of things, um, I'll play a clip here. As I'm stepping down, I put over 100 pounds of force across these two trekking poles. So essentially, when I'm stepping down, I'm reducing my weight from 417 pounds down to 307. And that's a lot of weight on these things. I don't know if they're rated for that. I'm sure I am torture testing the living heck out of these things. But ultimately, I need them to enjoy this hobby. I need them to be able to do the things I want to do. And um, if you're a bigger person getting into hiking, invest in a good pair of trekking poles, please. They save your joints, they make things a lot easier for you. Um, they allow you to use your upper body strength to really supplement your endurance. Um, that being said, it's not all sunshine and roses. Um, this winter I did have a lot of issues where towards the end of winter I was breaking through the snow a lot, as you do, is in the extreme cold that I tend to hike in for half the year because I live in Canada, this section here in the room temperature, it doesn't. But this section here in the extreme cold, what happens is, is if I lean on it, like put a lot of weight, it shrinks. But for the most part, I found that was happening when it was breaking through, like when I was when I was breaking through the snow and having to use these to like lift myself back up. But I mean, the carbides have lived pretty well. I've been actually hiking a lot in the white shell recently, which is all shale, and it's been doing pretty good. Um, in all, I bought these in Mac, and given I live in Canada, and not like the nice part of Canada, weather-wise, I live in Manitoba, which means six months of the year is winter. The worst part to that is I know that both sides of my family had options to immigrate elsewhere, but they chose it here. So if you're watching this, grandparents, you know Europe's not this cold, right? <laughs> Anyways, and before people are like, well, you know, if your parents didn't immigrate here, you wouldn't exist. Millennial lust for death is all I have to say. Kidding. I love life. I uh, 
really enjoy life as an adult. The last couple of years have been really amazing and I hope to continue to live life. I hope to bring you guys lots and lots of adventures because I love doing this and that's why I started the channel membership. That's why I do the things I do is so I can eventually do this full time. Um, ultimately, that is the goal and things like these trekking poles help me a lot. Yeah. Um, manufacturers of things, if you see stuff and you want me to torture test it, by all means, give it to me. I will try to break it because I'm fat. I'm very fat and I'll try to break your things. Um, you may not like my review. Full disclosure, you may not like it. <laughs> and if I think it's a piece of shit, I will let you know. Anyways, guys, um, pretty short, pretty sweet. Um, I don't like things that drag on and on and on. Um, yeah, so as I gain channel subscriber, channel members um, with the join button by subscribe, I will give shout outs uh, at the end of the videos and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm a little pressure time today, so this video is not going to be like super edited because from here I'm shooting another video today, <laughs> um, which... The other video for today um, is about getting my boat ready because sailing season starts soon. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Oh, and if you've made it this far, put the party hat emoji in the chat. <laughs>